hold tight. Hopefully you're in for the ride. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hopefully everything's working up and we're running. Running now, everything's good, right? Okay, well, that just took the video of him. I forget there's a delay up on Facebook side. So, yes, 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 we are almost there. We're about to start in a minute. So, hopefully, you guys stay tuned and hope you love it. Says we are live. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Lunch Break. Yes, I am your host, Christian Knight. I'm gonna put you guys down since so I don't mess up with that. But yes, I am your host, Christian Knight. Thank you once again for coming here to watch the show, Lunch Break, the show that brings you the many foods you can make during your break at lunch, at home, and in the dorm, uh, in quarantine at the moment. Um, wherever you can do it, you can basically make food no matter what it is. I can teach you how to do it and how to go about making it. So, yes. So, thank you everyone for joining me here this evening and allowing me to be in your living rooms or at your workplace, you know, or in, in a closet. I don't, I, don't, I don't know where you're watching me. Like, come on. We're, we're everywhere. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. We're on Twitch. We're all over the place. So, wherever you're watching me. Thank you very much for doing so. I greatly, greatly, and honestly, humbly appreciate that. Literally. So, hey, Chris, what up? Hey, Dad. <laughs> so, yes, so for everyone to know, my father is finally home. He is downstairs, um, hopefully taking it easy. Um, but, yes, he is home, so maybe one of these days on an episode, we will have him here doing lunch break with us. Y para toda la gente que está viendo en este momento, en este día, en hoy, Gracias por venir para ver nuestro programa que se llama Lunch Break. Yo soy su anuncio, anunciario. I don't know how to say it. Um, me llamo Christian Knight y aquí le hacemos un programa que se puede hacer eh, toda la comida en su trabajo, en su hogar, en cuarentena ahora mismo, en su casa, en cualquier lugar que ustedes están viendo nuestro programa. Gracias por estar aquí en este día con nosotros y Y mucha, muchas gracias. <laughs> no, <what> I'm <laughs> What up, James? James is here. So, yeah, so that's the update to my dad. My dad is finally home. Mi papá ya ha llegado eh, del hospital. Está en su casa ahora mismo. Um, ojalá está por lo menos um, descansando. Porque yo sé que estaba descansando mucho cuando estaba en el hospital. Pero que, que sigue descansando y, y que sigue su terapia. So, so for him to continue his, his uh, th therapy um, and continue re relaxing in this state, and of course, you know, to, for him, for your speedy and, and awesome recovery towards him. So, thank you, Dad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But, yes, yeah, so everybody who is here today, thank you for being here. And once again, uh, I'd like to thank everyone out there from deliverymen, firemen, doctors, nurses, you name it. Thank you, all of you, for doing what you're doing, for staying safe. Um, if I haven't, didn't mention you, listen, we are mentioned to everybody. So thank you to all. Muchas gracias por todo el mundo que está aquí. Hey, Salty! Um, muchas gracias por venir en este día. Le, le doy la gracia a toda esa gente que está trabajando ahí fuerte con eh, los doctores, la enfermera, la gente que está haciendo paquetes, la gente que está mandando paquetes. Le, eh, nuestros mismos también. Um, muchas gracias por hacer lo que tiene que hacer en este día durante esta crisis. So... Muchas gracias a ustedes. So, um, without further ado, and this way I don't keep talking about uh, a whole bunch of stuff because I know you guys came here for some food. So, let's get to the nitty gritty. Um, so, on today's episode, which we are on season five, people, 
Today is episode 115 in the in the books, but it's season five, episode 11. We've come from a long way. We are almost literally. I think we're almost in the middle of yeah. Tomorrow episode, we're in the middle of the season. It literally has come that far. It is crazy. Oh, <laughs> thank you, tricks, tricks with the raid. <laughs> Thank you all those who have come here from Triggs' stream. I greatly appreciate it. And to Triggs himself. Um, thank you for, for, for rating, man. I, I, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here today with us on lunch break. <laughs> thank you, Salty, for that. Definitely appreciate that. And, of course, major thanks to our moderator, Salty, who is on the live with us doing his thing. So, major congrats to him and, and awesome. Because these guys are humble dudes, dudes man. Like, come on. Go to my Twitch and follow these guys. These other guys are awesome individuals, and you gotta see their stuff. Like they're pros at their things, like legit. So, la gente que está viendo ahora, si ustedes tienen mi Twitch, vaya a mi Twitch y mándale un like y un beso y un abrazo a la gente que están siendo la moderación de nuestra página. Mándale el saludo que Christian Knight te mandó para allá. So thank you everybody. Let, give the love and support to these guys. These guys are awesome. So on today's episode. El capítulo 115 en el libro, eh, eh, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice? La serie 5, I don't know how you say series in 5, I don't know. Um, episodio o capítulo número 11 de nuestra serie. I don't know how you say it. No, you welcome, man. Of course, what are you cooking us? So, all right, so today's episode, we are making stuffed pepper soup. What? Yes, you heard me. I heard, I said it. Stuffed pepper soup. Oh, I was going to say it was the three S's, but pepper starts with a P. <laughs> hey, Snuggles, what up? So, yes, so we're making stuffed peppers soup. Exactly. What exactly is that? So, la gente que está viendo este día, estamos haciendo un... Uh, una receta que se que es pimienta eh, relleno pero de sopa yes pimienta relleno pero en, en estilo de sopa so those guys who are watching yes that's what we're making we're making stuffed pepper soup exactly what the hell is that ah oh, see I got you guys curious I was looking for a Christian that I could understand. <laughs> now nah, you're, you're good, Snuggles, don't worry. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what we are making today. And basically, stuffed pepper soup, here's the knowledge base, whoosh, dropped right here, um, is a dish common in many cuisines. It consists of a hollowed or half pepper filled with many varieties of filling, often including meat, vegetable, cheese, rice, or sauce. Now, basically, stuffed pepper soup came from the urination from stuffed peppers. Um, the dish is usually assembled by filling the cavities with the inside of the peppers, of the peppers, and then cooking them. Um, this actually, this recipe, or stuffed peppers, um, originated from Spain, the Mediterranean Basin, and Mexico. Crazy, right? That's some craziness. <laughs> Can you explain what soup is? Um, soup is whatever you put water into it and just eat it. I don't know. That's what I'm sitting and thinking. Hey, Sensei, what up? Probably should be watching this while working out. <laughs> Bird, that should be sure about your belly button. Wait, who? I don't got a belly button. I don't got a belly button. <laughs> oh, you're talking about Sensei. Hey, listen. I, I, I can't say certain things, but yeah. Since he's it's good. Since he's good. That's all I'm going to say. That, that's all I'm, I'm allowed to say. <laughs> I can't say anything past that. <laughs> I'll be killed by my wife. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so stuffed pepper soup. Okay? Um, so in Spain, stuffed peppers, or <clears throat> like I said before, pimientos rellenos, are a part of traditional Spanish cuisine, especially the out of the region of the Basque country. Ooh. Uh, usually, piquillo pe peppers, I don't know what those are, are often used for this. I don't know what piquillo is. Um, the fillings might include manchego cheese, chicken, or cod in red or red sauce. What? They put fish in stuffed peppers? 
Who can verify that? I need someone to verify that for me. Um, chicken likely being the most popular recipe. So that was in Spain. Pimiento relleno. No me gusta. <laughs> so my dad just wrote, he don't like stuffed peppers. <laughs> no, what's Mexico? Well, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So in India, um, stuffed peppers are commonly known as barvan merk or barva manhari mik. Uh, is one of the several stuffed vegetables, barvan subji, dishes, and it consists of bell peppers stuffed with cooked meat, potatoes and onions, and seasoned with chili, turmeric, coriander, cilantro, salt, and lemon juice. Holy crap. Woo! <laughs> Checo cheese is so good. I never had that. I don't know what that is. Especially with honey. What's a fish? <laughs> I can't with you so. Um, and then in Mexico, um, in Mexico, the chili relleno, the stuffed peppers, um, literally means stuffed peppers, chili relleno. Uh, it consists of roasted green pasilla or poblano peppers stuffed with cheese and or minced meat covered in an egg batter and fried. Ooh, wait a second. It is often served covered with sauce, although the type of sauce varies widely. Ooh, I kind of like that one. Hold up. Wait a second. It's covered in egg batter, so they make it into like a, a fritter almost, like in, like if a fish steak or like a um, a chicken nugget maybe, like something like that, right? <laughs> Wait, what's a fish? Wait, what's a, in India? What is food? <laughs> I'm so loose. <laughs> it's a very sharp cheese. The milk is like. Wait, oh, you're gonna have to show me what that is, sensei. I don't. I, I might not know it by name, but if I look at it, I might know what it is. Wait, you're Dominican sensei? I didn't know that. I thought you were Puerto Rican. What up, Vintage? Um, that, okay, you guys confused me. What's going on here? <laughs> but yeah, so that's what we were making here today. We we're making stuffed peppers. Boom. Soup. <laughs> that's so dramatic, right? <laughs> get you get now. We're gonna start. So, if you guys have your pen and paper ready, I'm gonna give you the deets of what you need to create this amazing soup called stuffed peppers soup yeah. alright so of course we're gonna be making our stuff already pre-done or well, not pre-done our stuff made here in our pot that's what I meant to say not pre-done um, if you want to make this recipe especially if you don't have the time to make it in your house or in your dorm and you're trying to find time um, all you really need to get is pre-cooked ground beef or you can use chicken if you want you don't really have to go according to what the recipe calls for for filling in the stuffed peppers um, you can actually put whatever you want because at the end of the day you guys are the ones eating this so hey man started up the song all star by smash Mouth. <laughs> um, good thing I'm eating nachos watching you yes <laughs> I love that because if I was watching you and I had no food next to me oh it'll be bad yeah you'll be pissed yeah, I knew it'll be bad <laughs> so yeah so but toda la gente que está en, en su casa viendo este programa, um, aunque no tenga y tiene, necesita tiempo para cocinar todas esas comidas si y lo está llevando para el trabajo, um, no es necesario eh, hacer todo lo que la receta dice. Tú puedes sustituir lo que necesitas. Si no quiere usar carne, puede usar eh, pollo o cualquier cosa que ustedes quieran comer, porque eh, al fin del día es ustedes que se lo están comiendo. So, like I said, is at the end of the day, you guys are the ones that are eating this, so you can substitute. Anything you want on it. it doesn't really have to go according to the recipe, especially if you are allergic to a few other items that are on here. So please do not say CK told me to make it like this because I ain't paying those bills. So please don't do that. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is, of course, this is already washed. I'm going to put low to medium heat for a pot. And the first, first thing I'm going to put into this, grab your pen and paper, is the onions. So you're going to need at least one small onion, one whole small onion, or a medium, half medium onion to, to start off. But before we put that in here dry, because we don't like stuff dry, right? <laughs> oh, damn it. Um, you're going to need one tablespoon of olive oil. You can use canola oil, you can use vegetable oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, whatever you two are liking, you can do. We're using vegetable oil, by the way. We're not using olive oil. And I need my spoon because we don't leave no oil left behind. There we go. Alright. 
So we got that done. Now he's gonna spread the love of the oil in here. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So now we got the oil. We're heating it up. Mind you, remember always, always make sure you dry your pot because if you have water in your pot and you put oil, you're gonna experience the in your face. Don't ask me, that's just the sound that I want to make for it. So, as ustedes están cocinando con aceite y tienen agua en su eh, taza o paila, I, I call it paila, I'm sorry, I'm Dominican, I call it paila. Um, ten cuidado porque el agua va a chiviar en tu cara. So, just remember that. Watch out for that. Alright, so now, we're going to stick our onion right in there, just like that. Put that to the side. And I'm just gonna mix and kill all these onions. So, la primera cosa que va a poner después del aceite es eh, la cebolla. Entonces, va a necesitar una cebolla pequeña, entero, o una cebolla grande, pero que cortado en mitad, además necesita mitad de la, de, de la cebolla. I'll be lurking. Yes, sir. Do the lurk thing. Do, come on, do it, do it, do it, salty. Do the lurk, do the lurk. I want to say the song. I want to say the saying. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like a little kid. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Let <laughs> me put you guys out this way. Um, so yeah, so the first thing you're going to add into here is our onion. So we want our onion to start cooking up um, so they can tar start turning translucent. So la primera cosa que necesita poner es la cebolla para que la cebolla se comience a cocinar y se ponen eh, por lo menos como... Eh, como no se puede ver, no, I don't know how to say it. I know my dad's on here trans to translate, just think as I need it, so. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do first. So we're going to put in the onions and let that cook up, right? So now the next thing you're going to need, because of course, this is what? Stuff, pepper, soup. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't have a whole <laughs> tea to say for me, but I'll say it myself. So yeah, this is that. you're going to need the peppers, all right? So, what you're going to need for this recipe, lo que va a necesitar para esta receta, is three different types of peppers. Now, you can use the big peppers or the small peppers, it definitely is up to your liking. Tú puedes usar las pimientas que son grandes o chiquitas, dependiendo de ustedes cómo se lo van a comer. So, oh, <clears throat> I got to say it because someone just went on her boat. <clears throat> The wacky trick face is now watching for the empty of the darkness. Come into the light when you're ready. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> Wait, why did Nightbot and Stream Elements do that? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> there you go. That's the saying that I gotta do every time. I wish I could lurk, but I'm on my phone. I will catch you there. <laughs> no problem, says they do your thing. Listen, go do your workout. Let me know anything. I'll be here for for a little bit. Don't worry, you'll see the pictures on your Discord. By the way, DM my sensei, beautiful Laura, for her Discord. Join the family. Join the den. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Alright, so, we're cooking up the onions. And watching from both angles of all, everybody who says something. Just making sure. Just making sure. Is cooking up. All right, so as we were talking about the peppers, so if you're going to be using the big peppers, like I said, you only need one of each. If you're using the small ones, you're going to need at least two of them um, to put into this stuff pepper soup. Nah, I can't answer. Um, so yeah, so you're going to need one red bell pepper, one green red, uh, green red pepper, one green bell pepper, and one yellow bell pepper. If you don't have those combinations, you can use any bell peppers you want. Like I said at the end of the day, it, this is according to you. You're going to be the one eating this. So, um, I took um, the red, yellow, and orange bell peppers, small bell peppers. So that's what we're going to put in here. So we got two orange ones, two yellow ones, and two red ones that we're going to add into our mix. So we'll put that in right now. Let's start cooking those as well. And then give it a nice little mix. So, so far, all we have in here is onion, uh, 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 I was going to say olive oil, vegetable oil, and peppers. So, la única cosa que le añadimos a esta paila es la cebolla, las pimientas y, eh, eh, y el aceite. Yeah, there you go. 
<laughs> Maybe for you guys just so you guys can see the action. So yeah, so that's what we have so far in here. Who's watching over here? Alright. And then we're gonna put that back on. So the next thing you're gonna need, now that we have the peppers and the onions, is basically our garlic cloves, and then we're gonna add our meat. I'm just saying, because you gotta have the meat part to stuff the peppers. But we're not stuffing the peppers because we're making it to stoop. So yeah, so um, la próxima cosa que necesita añadirle a esto son um, mm, how you say garlic in Spanish? Damn! And freaking Matt told me how what it was, and now I don't remember. Uh, not cebolla, ajo, right? I think garlic is ajo. Ajo, right? Dad, someone told me. I don't know. So yeah, so la próxima cosa que necesita añadirle es ajo. So you're gonna need two cloves, not a bulb, cloves of garlic, minced up. So we got our garlic cloves over here. What is this? Oh, this is what's Um, Our garlic cloves are already minced that we're gonna add into our mix. All right, make sure don't leave any garlic left behind. Le añadimos el ajo, que ya está cortado. Y le damos una mezcla, mezcla. We give it a stir. Mezcla. I can't say it properly. Oh, damn. No good, no bueno. Man, this smells pretty good by itself. It's like, you know what? You should just take this and put it in a wrap. It'll be like a vegetable wrap, right? It's just a wrap of uh, bell peppers, onions, and garlic. That's good, right? That's, that's healthy, right? Ow, thank you, Dad. There you go, see? So, le añadimos el aceite, la cebolla, las pimientas y el ajo. So there you go. Ya tenemos todo eso aquí adentro. Y la próxima cosa que vamos a y le vamos a añadir. The next thing that we're going to do, we're going to add is our ground beef. That's right, because the last ingredients we need to put into the ground beef as it's cooking. So, Here's our ground beef that we're going to put in here. And of course, I'm using ground turkey, by the way, just to let you know. Because um, like I said, you guys can use whatever it is to your liking. Oh, I got to get the uh, smasha. Whatever it is to your liking that you need to use, whether it's chicken, turkey, um, uh, hmm, what else can you really use? I don't know if you can use fish. Can you use fish? Even though I know there's some people that stuff peppers with fish, because I, I read it somewhere around there. Yeah, cod and red sauce. So, if you want to do that, by all means, go ahead. Let me know how that tastes. <laughs> I mean, I will try it, though. I legit will try it. I don't mind that. Okay, right, let's clean these mush off. Make sure we don't leave nothing left behind. But have the tasties of all this. Awesome. All right. Now, now that we have the ground turkey, let's give it a nice mix to combine everything that's in here. Does it allow me to Oh, somebody's trying to run. No, no running. Uh, and then, of course, I cleaned all this. All right, I cleaned all of this. All right, this is good. All right. So, um, so la próxima cosa que va a hacer es mezclar la carne que va a usar para las, las pimientas rellenas, pero la sopa the pimienta rellena, que estamos haciendo. So yeah, so, give that a nice mix. All right. To allow all the ground turkey, the bell peppers, the onions, and the garlic cloves to all mix together in a nice little family. And we're gonna put this on medium to high heat to cook it a little bit more faster. And more better anyway. So yeah, so, we got that done. Hello everybody on Instagram, how you doing? So yeah, so, all right, so once again, we've added the olive oil. We've added the three different types of bell peppers, which is the, well, I use the orange, the yellow, and the red. Um, like I said, you can use any combination, red, green, yellow, red, it's all up to you. You're, at the end of the day, you're the one eating this. Um, we added the onions, we added the garlic uh, cloves, and the ground beef, right? So you guys got that down so far? So it was just one tablespoon of whatever oil you want to use 
one red bell pepper. If you're using the large ones, they're the bell peppers that you're going to use is three different types. Um, and if you're using an onion, if you're using the small one, it's just one. If you're using a medium one, it's half of a medium one uh, cut up. Um, and then two garlic cloves, not the bulb, not this thing. Not that. Don't use the big one. You just need two pieces of this. Missed up. Um, and then the, the meat that you're going to use and let it cook up and simmer. Sim, sim, uh, okay, I can't do that. So yeah, the next thing you're going to do, let's check up on our meat. Make sure you check this. Because remember, we want this to cook and not burn. So that you, you want to make sure you are watching it for that. Yeah, this smells really good. I feel like he's eating already. <laughs> but this is raw, so let's not eat raw foods, people. <laughs> Just saying, don't do that. Alright, so now, as this thing is cooking, I'm going to give you the next things you need to add into this. So, of course, we're going to be siding this with some rice. And actually, the rice is actually going to go in here with it. So, let's begin that. So, I already put in the process of the rice. As you can see here, it's been washed. I put up some oil and I put up some chives because that's my little thing. And my little ingredient of a double. Yes. Right? So, we're going to put it in our rice cooker. We're going to put it in the water so we can cook it. And that's run. And then hang me off. Because we're only doing about a cup of rice today. So, vintage! Welcome back! Alright, All right, so that's set. Turn it on and let us do its thing. And bam! Alright, so that'll be done in 20 minutes. The rice cooker cooks up in that amount of time. Bill Boom! What up? <laughs> Yes, see? Oh, shoot. Tree's on it already. He's on it. He's on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's saying hi to, you, to your nephew. So, yes. Yeah, so, there you go. So, now we got the rice going. Thank you, um, Tricks, for that. Yes. Yeah, so, we are making stuffed peppers soup. Yes, that's right, Bilbo. Stuffed peppers soup. Right. Because it's, it's not in the style of a stuffed pepper where you have to take the pepper chop it to the top of them, stuff it, and then cook it. No, no, no. This is where you take the peppers and the stuff you put it in and put it all together in one pot or in a bowl or however way you're making it. You're making it at work. You, you know, microwave safe bowl, get all the ingredients that are pre-made, stick them all together in one thing, and boom, there you go. Because they do sell pre-cooked rice. Think about it. Pre-cooked rice, and they do sell pre-cooked crumbles of, of uh, ground beef. Yes, they do. Look it up. My, my, my wife found it. So, alright. So let's do this. Let's give it a store. So, just tuning in, we are making stuffed pepper soup. Uh, we've added in our onions, our uh, vegetable oil, our bell peppers, um, and our ground turkey. And we are cooking that up. Oh, and we can't forget the garlic. We added garlic too. So we're gonna let that cook up. So now, the next ingredient you're gonna add into this, now that we set the rice up, because we're gonna need the rice for the end to add into our soup, because that's the combination of how it goes. So, people, the next thing you're gonna need to put into this is a pinch of salt and a pinch of ground black pepper. And I already did that in combination and put them together. See, see how easy that is? I'm gonna just put you down this way. Why is my... It just looks weird. You're alive on there, right? Yeah. Alright, so here's a pinch of black black salt. <laughs> the pinch of salt and a pinch of black pepper. Alright. And then we're gonna mix that in too. So everything gets the flavor. So la única cosa que nosotros añadimos ahora mismo fue. La sal y la pimienta. Y además es un chin, como tú coges tus dedos, tú coges esta. So, damn, look at how that's looking so far, people. Look, look, look. You see that? Can you see that? All right. So now, the next thing we're going to add into it, which is the last dry ingredient that you need for this recipe, and it's basically Italian seasoning. 
Don't ask me why. It says it. I, I, you can use oregano if you want. You can use whatever seasoning you want, apparently. You know, it depends on you. Like I said, at the end of the day, this belongs to you. All right, so we're going to add in our Italian seasoning, which is about two teaspoons of dried Italian seasoning. There we are. Nice. Yo, we can just put this in a wrap. Forget that. Let's just have this. <laughs> this is done. Boom. It's almost like when you make um, dirty rice that you put in the rice in the mix or um, what was it like jambalaya? Jambalaya rice, I think it's like that. Where you put uh, ground beef into it. Yeah, I think it's like that. Alright, so that's almost done. Now, the last last ingredient you need to do to put into this besides the rice because the rice is the last part last phase of course to put into this the last thing you need to put into this um which is a wet ingredient which is the, the can of tomato soup or uh, canned crushed tomatoes so you can do either or so we're gonna put in our mix of tomato soup into here oh yeah Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking good. So, here you need about um, 20 ounces, which is about two cans worth. So, here you go. So, I'm going to put half of this. I'm going to put one can worth. I'm not going to put all, both of them because, you know, um, some of the people in this house are, um, what you call it, uh, can't tolerate the acidity. So, I'm only going to put one can worth in here. So in this way, it doesn't affect them. Gotta, gotta make sure my peoples are okay. Look at the, yo, look at this, man. Oh my god, this looks so delicious and divine. Yo, yo. I can't with this right now. So the only thing that you need to put in for the recipe is one or two cantaditas de salsa de tomate o sopa de tomate um, tú puedes usar la que contiene los tomates dentro y lo más mezclar pero hazlo uh, acordando de la gente que tú se lo vas a dar si esto es más para ti no lo pongas todo entero de más hago un ching de más de uno por el otro bit you know what I mean because if you're only doing this for yourself this is a lot so don't overcook you can always add better than you can take out just remember that. That's, that's the saying that my wife says. So, yo, look at how this looks, man. You guys got to, I know you guys have seen it from the Instagram, but look at how this looks. This is insane. And mind you, we still haven't even added the rice yet. It's going to look even more insane. So, why are you guys supposed to? Let me just fix you guys. Okay, I'm going to touch the button by mistake. There we go. Alright, uh, now you guys can see better. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna close this up. I'm gonna put this back to low heat, low to medium. Cause like I said, we want this to cook, not to burn. So put you guys back up to me. Hello, everybody. So yeah, so while we allow that to sit simmer, <laughs> uh, drinks. Yes. So here comes the part where we give many thanks to those people who are celebrating their birthday this week. Yeah, because that's what we do here on Lunch Break. We give thanks to those who are in our existence and in our lives. And there's a lot. So, big your, big your big birthday shout out goes to Donna D. I can't say the last name because I'm not going to give out the ones. Her birthday passed this Sunday, January 31st. Happy birthday to you, Donna. Hope you did your thing. Happy birthday. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm just saying. Yeah, I know you did your thing. <laughs> Um, happy birthday also go to Louis. Um, your birthday was this Monday that passed. Uh, hopefully you, you, you have another rotation around this earth um, that we get to see you. Um, happy birthday to Eve as well. Her birthday was also on Monday. Happy birthday to you. We greatly appreciate you from here from lunch break. Um, happy birthday to you, Nancy, as well. Um, your birthday was also Monday. Damn, there's so many birthday, Monday birthdays, you know, coming on. What's going on here? <laughs> um, and of course, major, major, major recognition and birthday shout out 
to both my twin nieces, um, whose birthday was also this Monday too. Gianna and Ariana, happy birthday to you too. I love you so much from your uncle. Um, Christian Knight. <laughs> I was something else. But yes, so major happy birthday to you. Uh, to you both. Not you, but both, yes. Um, also, happy birthday to Maytel. Um, your birthday was this Tuesday that just passed, so we send you mad love and support as always. Um, happy birthday to Benito, uh, one kindred spirit from us from, from our high school days. So happy birthday to you, sir. Um, your birthday was Wednesday. Um, also to Cartier, happy word birthday to you, sir. Um, your birthday just passed this Wednesday as well. There's a lot of birthdays. Just to let you know, there's a lot of birthdays. There's a lot of birthdays. So happy birthday as well to Lisa. Your birthday was yesterday, which was Thursday. So happy birthday to you as well. Um, happy birthday to another Donna, um, another kindred spirit from our high school days. Happy birthday to you. Your birthday is actually today, so happy birthday. Go live it up. Go do your thing. Boop, boop. I'm going to see those pictures later on your snap. I know. I know I will. I'm just saying. I'm going to see them. Um, and then happy birthday also to Denise, um, another one of kindred spirits from one of our friends from work. His wife, his birthday is tomorrow. So happy birthday to you. May you do what you must as a, as we do what we do, right? If it makes sense, something like that. But yes, and then happy birthday to everyone who's still completing birthdays or have completed birthdays this month for Jan uh, I was going to say January. For February. So happy birthday to all those um, February babies. <laughs> oh, God. And if I miss your birthday, I'm sorry. I can't, I, I can't remember everybody's birthday. So if I don't have it written somewhere, I'm going to forget. So happy birthday to you all, yeah. Um... Thank you, thank you once again. As Melissa says, you guys have completed another rotation around this earth. So we greatly appreciate you guys. Feliz cumpleaños a toda la gente que tiene cumpleaños durante este mes de febrero. Eh, aquí en el programa le mandamos tantos saludos y amor. Que, que sean y hagan lo que necesitan para su cumpleaños. So, without further ado, let's go back to this. So we can give a nice, nice little stir. Yeah, this looks freaking delicious and good. Tell you, once we put the rice in here, it's gonna be dangerous. All right, so yeah, set that down. So now, let's take the time and moment. Pause for a second, cool down, and let's give it out mad shouts, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. So the first person I want to recognize. In their shout out for today, big wholesome, massive love to the person. Um, he's a great individual. He's an awesome dude. You gotta go watch his streams. He's 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 so funny. He's he's more awesome than me. Trust me. Like I'm nobody. He's this, this dude. You must go show some love and, and respect and just show him mass support as we always do to all our Twitch family and community and our Facebook friends and on Instagram. Go watch Mr. Frozen. Yes, Frozen. This is your time and moment, man. Um, his URL is twitch.tv forward slash F-R-O-Z-E-N underscore I-N underscore again T-I-M-E. Frozen in time. Go show this dude massive love and respect and support because, dude, this dude is phenomenal. All right? Because that's what we do here with our Twitch family. We support them massive, massive, wholeheartedly and massive heavily. Now, I'm going to do an interesting treat for you guys. Now, normally, we have written down a whole bunch of people we shout out. But we have one dedicated just to Frozen for today. But we are going to do, oh, yes, the shout-out roulette. And what? Everybody's like, wait, 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 what, 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 what's a shout-out roulette? Ooh, shout-out roulette. The shout-out roulette is me going into my streamer deck box. Oh, yeah. And, of course, you know, we have the sensei up here in the front, as always. Sensei. Sensei is always in front. Sensei has to be the first. Um, yes, we're going to pick out five lucky streamers. We're going to be shouted out on today's live stream. So, yeah, I'm going to give a nice little shuffle here. No cheating, no cheating, no cheating. And we're going to give out five shout outs to five special individuals. I mean, you're all specials, but we're going to be giving you a shout out more to those who we pick. And it could be a moderate, it could be a regular person, it could be anyone. So, 
those five street lucky streamers for today. You guys are gonna be nine. So we're gonna take from the top deck. One. Give it another shuffle. Cause that's what we're doing. Give it another shuffle. Take that person out. Give it another shuffle. Give it another shuffle. That's what we're doing. Take another person out. Need two more. Give it another shuffle. Ooh, ooh. Attention, attention, attention. Take another person out. Alright, here we go. And these are my mark, by the way, so I don't know who, who's what. Alright, and I can't see the cards. These are cards, though. So I can't see the other side. I'm not cheating. Alright? And the last person. Alright. So, oh, let's put this back in here. I don't want these to go away. So, for our special shops, besides Mr. Frozen that we just did, we are going to give a shout out to. Oh! It's Tricky Mikey! Tricky Mikey has just been shouted out. There you go, Tricky Mikey. Why is it so blurry? There you go. Tricky Mikey. If you guys have your camera, you take a screenshot of this, it will take you to Tricky Mikey's um, URL to his Twitch. So it is Tricky Mikey 83. T R I C K E Y M I C K E Y 83. Tricky Mikey, you've been shouted out. There you go. All right. Ooh, yes, so, uh, yes, tricks. I said salty. Yes, tricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, damn. Okay, so originally this guy was named Putnam. Um, so now his name is Putty Herx. So if you go to his URL, it's P U T T Y uh, H E R C S. So if you find him and he's on here, okay. Tell him that CK is truly love. So find him under Putty Herx. I'll put up the uh, the the link. I don't know if you can find him. Um, I, I I wish he was on. I think he he's sleeping at the moment because he's gonna live stream later. But definitely um, go watch him. His name is Putty Herx. Okay, H E R C S with Putty P U T T Y. So go show him man love and respect. I gotta I gotta redo his card though. All right, so here we go. Drum roll. Oh. And it's Lizabelle! Oh, Lizabelle! There you go, Lizabelle got shouted out! Yes, Lizabelle is a major, major, ooh, I gotta pop this open. Major gamer. Um, go watch her streams. Um, she's massive wholesome. Um, you can see her stuff. It's L-I-Z-A-B-E-L-L-E. -E -L -L -E. Lizabelle, that's her Twitch URL right there via the QR code. Just take a picture of it. And it'll take you straight to her thing. Right there. Right there. There you go. There you go, people. There you go. There you go. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. We're going to put this back down to low a little bit more because we're going to have to burn. All right. Here we go. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Triggs. Appreciate that. All right. Here we go. Oh! Dark Ambrosia! You just got shouted out! There you go. Dark Ambrosia has just been put in the roulette wheel. Dark Ambrosia people, take a screenshot of her um, QR code right there. It will take you to her page. She is D A R K A M B R O S I A. Dark Ambrosia. Go follow her and show her some love. Tell her CK sent you there. All right. Oh, this is getting excited. All right, all right, all right. Last but not least. Oh, shoot. It's the two crazy Latinos. There you go, Mr. Two Crazy Latinos, the show of Sam and Lewis. There you go, I almost said it wrong. Sam and Lewis, there you go. Show these guys some love. These are Two Crazy Latinos. They do a podcast and Facebook Live, and, and now they started to do um, uh, Twitch. So this is their Facebook. So go show them mad love and respect to both Sam and Lewis. I like this roulette thing. Yo, I'm going to keep doing this every week now. So add your name to, to my list, and I'll, I'll make you a card. But there you go. You guys have been shouted out. So now, you guys don't get a turn next week, because we got to give a turn to everybody else on here. So there you go. Thank you to all those who got shouted out. Oh, we actually separate that. So this I can write it in the book later. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Take that out. There you go. So I can put it in the book later, so I can always shout it out. So yeah, so... Thank you to you guys for for providing me an atmosphere to do this for you guys. You guys are awesome and wholesome. And by the way, by the time I just mentioned the last card, the rice just finished. So you already know what we're doing. 
So we're gonna give this a stir. Put this in right like that. I'm gonna give you guys this way. Come back down. Why is this thing weird? Why is my Instagram acting weird? I don't know why it's showing me that. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, so we're gonna give this a nice little stir right here. Nice little stir. So you you like the uh, the roulette stuff? <laughs> this is cool and fun. Thank you, Triggs. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that, listen, I gotta make it fun, man. That that thing is, is thrilling, man. I like that. The little Russian roulette, but for streamers. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, the streamer roulette. I, I gotta I gotta patent that, right? <laughs> so all right. So this is done. All right. So now we are going to add in our rice into this mix. So. I'm gonna put this to the side like this. And I'm gonna grab the rice and hopefully it don't get burned. Pop that out. And get that rice. Alright. Bring this over here. Alright, so we have the rice now. Rice is done. It's gonna scrape. So we can get all of the rice. Off of this. This is extremely hot and I'm burning myself. <laughs> I don't learn to do it. <laughs> Alright, let's put it out. No, that's not working. <laughs> I need a thicker one. <laughs> Take the rice. I'm gonna put the rice in our mix. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Now, put that down. Put water in that. Make sure that's off. And now, Time to mix in the rice. Oh god, this looks delicious. It's a good thing I picked this pot. <laughs> you might have never had a smaller pot. All this wouldn't affect. supposed to look. So la última cosa que necesito hacer es ponerle el arroz, mezclarlo y combinarlo. There we go. Oh my god, that looks fine. This looks freaking dangerous, people. Like legit dangerous. <laughs> Yo, come see this. Is, look how dangerous this looks. It's <laughs> as dangerous looking. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna set this to the lowest one possible because we don't need this to cook anymore. We just need it to stay warm and bubbly, all right? Now, for the last thing you need to do this because this is all done. This is only the seasoning part. So you can put um, shredded white cheddar or you can serve this uh, char la, freshly chopped parsley or, or parsley flakes. This is totally up to you. So let's do that. So, I gotta get the cheese. That we're gonna use for this. I don't think we have sour cream. No. Okay. We don't have sour cream, but we'll still use the cheese part. And then when the parsley breaks. So. I am going to get... this for you guys. Yes. Alright, so let's move you guys this way a little bit. Alright, so what we're going to do, oh, we need the uh, ladle. Okay, we got the ladle. Do -do 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 -do. 
<laughs> I just say this is gonna be the fancy. I don't know if it's gonna work pro properly, so hopefully it does work. <laughs> I know I've, I attempted a few times, and um, it didn't work. Well, no, actually, no, it did work all the time. All right, so let's do it. Grab some of it. Grab some of it. Just push it down. Grab some of it. This is gonna be mine anyway, so I want to make sure that it is fully covered. There we go. I'm gonna just stir this to make sure it doesn't burn at the bottom. And this is freaking good. It reminds me of a, a Dominican dish called moro. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. Alright, so here we go. Good so far, right? Good so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? Hello? Woo! That was perfect. That was perfect. We're gonna say it was perfect. It was perfect. <laughs> Still see me do the presentation. Mm. Mm. Put that in a burrito or a wrap or a taco. That's good. All right. Now let's get the cheese. Rapper Pro? Mm hmm? What do you mean, rapper? If I like rappers, hell yeah. If you're talking about music, hell yeah. I might not remember people by name, but hell yeah. Alright, so then now, we're gonna put some. Thank you for the follow! <laughs> I appreciate that! <laughs> and then we put some possibly flakes right on top. Thank you for the follow. Major shout out to you, man. I appreciate that. So there you go. There you have it. Our um, stuffed pepper. Well, it's not a soup, but look, it became like something else. So I know, right? If we put in more of the the, the tomato soup, um, it'll make it into a soup. But we made it to like a I don't know what you call this, like a rice bowl, like a rice bowl, rice bowl. Look, at that. look how. Brilliant, Come on, you guys gotta come this way. Look at that. Look at the brilliance of that. That thing looks freaking divine. So yes. All right. So now, put you guys down here. Alright. 
So yeah. So it didn't come out as a soup soup only because of the fact that, um, like I said, um, I'm trying to watch the uh, toxicity. Um, well, not acidity. Acidity. Sorry, <laughs> the acidity um, from the tomato sauce with uh, my wife and my daughter because they they really can't tolerate the the acidity. So, but before that, I want to definitely recognize and give a shout out to our new follower, GH, who just uh, followed us. So, shout out to you. There we go. Bam. Awesome there. <laughs> what up, Tricky Mikey? Tricky Mikey, you missed it. You were part of the shout out roulette streamer deck that we just did. You were just giving the shout out. <laughs> Thank you for joining the live. <laughs> so yeah, so we did a, uh, a roulette shout out, uh, basically of, of the streamer. So a streamer roulette shout out we did, uh, where we had everybody um, in here, is, I have everybody that I've done shout outs for, and a whole bunch of other got people. Um, and we did a random selection of five people and you, sir, were selected. Ba bam! There you see. Yeah, you, you were right there. You were right there. Like, like, like. Streamer, streamer, tricky Mikey, right there. <laughs> hey, the press, what up? What up, Dixie? So yes, yeah, so there you go. So yes, yeah, so you were part of that surprise shout out streamer roulette that we did today. So thank you for for <laughs> for basically being shouted out. So there you go, and of course, if you're just tuning in, we just made. Even though it didn't come out as a soup, because I said, like I said, I gotta watch out the acidity uh, for my wife and for my daughter. So we just made stuffed pepper soup. Even though the rest of this would have made the soup portion of this, but like I said, um, my wife and my daughter can't tolerate the acidity, so I don't want it to the point where they have to end up back in the hospital, especially if my wife is working in the hospital right now. So no, we don't want that. So we ended up making it into. Almost like a jambalaya type of thing. So I just got dropped in. I can't say no. It's okay. Listen, I love even when you stay for a moment, a second, or even a lifetime. I appreciate it because you guys are awesome. There's no worries. So this is what we did. So we basically put um, shredded cheese on it on top and parsley flakes. Mm. You want some of that? You want it much closer? You want to take a bite? You want to take a bite? Hey, wait, wait. You want to take a bite of this? Wait, wait. Do it this way. You want it this way? Yeah, there you go. You want to take a bite of that? <laughs> so yeah, so that's what we did today. So when I eat this, I literally taste all the flavors of the tomato sauce. I taste the pe bell peppers. Of course, the ground beef is in there, but it is so yummy and delicious. You guys can make this. Like no lie, you guys can make this. <laughs> Bye, Dixie. Um. So yeah. So definitely, this is delicious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bite. So you can see. This thing is still up. Got to give it a stir. But as you can see there, there's the, I'm going to show it to you guys too. There's the rice, the ground turkey, uh, some bell peppers are in there, some onions, and some garlic. Sorry, this thing is hot. I don't want to burn myself. Let's still burn myself. That is delicious. So yeah, so if you add in the rest of the tomato sauce, because you need two cans of tomato sauce or crushed tomatoes to add into this, it will make you that soup. This is supposed to be like a tomato soup type of thing, because this is a, a stuffed pepper soup. So it's a variation of the stuffed peppers that normally you would do and cook in the microwave or the oven, wherever you do it. So let's just shake this, because like I said, we don't want to forget and let the bottom cook up by mistake. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna turn this off because it should stay hot now. Put that to the side. So yeah, so thank you everyone for coming here today and watching lunch break. Of course, uh, the rundown of the ingredients. So this way, it's gonna write it down if you're still here and watching. Um, we used olive oil as our base. Uh, we put in a yellow, a red, and an orange bell pepper. Um, two small ones, by the way, for each. 
If you're using the big ones, you can use the green, red, and yellow, but you can use any combination to your liking. You can add a lot, you can add a little, depending on however you want to make this. Um, then you need one onion. If it's a small onion, it's the whole onion. If it's a medium onion, all you need is half the medium onion and just cut up. Then you need two garlic cloves, mince, not the bowl, but the actual like cloves that comes inside of it. Uh, whatever meat that you're going to use for cooking, which could be ground beef, it could be turkey, it could be chicken, whatever it is that you can tolerate and you can eat yourself, you can do that. Um, of course, um, then you need a pinch of salt and a pinch of black pepper. You can omit the salt if you can't have salt. Uh, you can omit the black pepper. If you can't eat black pepper. It's all to your liking. So you can om omit. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. You can omit anything that's on the recipe to yourself, especially if you're allergic to them. Um, then after that, you need the 28 ounce of canned crushed tomato or tomato soup. Like I said, it depends on you guys what you can use. Um, and then two tablespoons of dried Italian seasoning and that all goes into making the meat portion um, At the same time you can make rice on the side cook it up and mix it or you can put in the The rice in there, but then you're gonna have to add in a little bit more water so the rice can cook up tenderly uh, Along with everything that's already inside and that will make your soup afterwards. You can actually um, Garnish it with some shredded cheese to your liking a nagi and then some parsley flakes and then you have yourself even though this is not the soup version you have yourself the nice stuffed pepper meal right there mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah so um thank you everyone who came on here today for joining us on our show but don't have to give me a nuestro programa gracias por venir en este día I greatly appreciate all of you guys, legit, um, once again, um, thank you for allowing me to be in your living room, in your dorm, in your phone, in your closet, wherever you have me, I don't care, I love it, because you guys are showing me the love and support, and I'm showing you the love and support back for, for being here, so I definitely, de <laughs> oh that looks yummy, <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you once again for joining us in, in us making stuffed pepper soup, um, like I said, um, I didn't add in the extra, I'm not gonna say I didn't add the rest of the soup because there's people who can't tolerate the acidity. So definitely, um, I omitted half of that because like I said, uh, I don't want to end up having them go to the hospital. So thank you once again for joining me and to everybody who's been on here. Thank you, thank you, thank you once again. Um, I greatly appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome and humble and, and everything. I just can't do anything without you guys. So thank you once again. And as always, as we do here on Lunch Break, don't settle for less and make it your best. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.